Alright boys, what's up and welcome to How to Dominate, episode 32. Uh, today we are going to be playing Ivern in the jungle. Um, Ivern is actually really underrated right now, um, especially in high rank games. I think he's he's one of the champions that kind of scales with your teammates, because it is a supportive champion. But there actually was an Ivern main um, named, I think, Styly on EU West who hit rank 1 uh, playing it... Uh, during the early season. Obviously, there's a lot of bugs with the season, so he might not actually have the highest MMR on the server, but he has the role of rank one. I mean, he's obviously been doing really well. He has good win rate, and he's been playing a decently high-rated game. So I'm going to show you um, how to play Ivern, like how I play Ivern, um, and just e exactly like his setup. So if you want to look at the setup, you got Guardian, Fawn of Life, um, Bone Plating, Revitalize, Futures Market, Cosmic Insight, and then you take 1% CDR, 9 AP, and 15 health. So yeah, it's just a CDR-based build. Yeah, really good on Ivern. So I'm going to walk over here, start my buff. Now you're not going to smite this. One thing you got to make sure um, to do is you do not smite this. You have to save your smite for crab when you play Ivern. So we have a uh, grasp on Ezreal. This is something I've never seen before. Hopefully it goes well. Mark this buff. Come over here. And you mark the crab and smite it. Oh, top's getting ganked. Hopefully he doesn't die for him there. I'm just gonna back off here. I don't actually win this fight. Little chunk. Oh, we got level two gang top. That's pretty unfortunate. How my other camps building? One of the good things about Ivern is if you do get into fights like that and you have your other camps like being built, it doesn't take away too much. So here I'm gonna actually go for an early recall. Um, this is just to get uh, super early boots. Um, I'm low life, and I don't really want to uh, walk to the crab wall low life. So I'm going to back here. I marked my top side camps, and then I'm going to go take these two, which will put me level three, and then I can either walk into his jungle, contest blue. I can potentially te uh, contest the crab. Yeah, we've got a couple options then. Mid is losing pretty hard, so all three lanes losing. This is kind of standard. You'll ex you can kind of expect this most of the time you play jungle. It's really just about like how you're able to manipulate um, the map afterwards. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for mid. We can actually kill him because I have guardian for him. Kind of weird. Went in really early. Definitely did not want him to play it like that, but that's what it is. Okay, we get a kill here. Gonna try to get out. Couldn't get out, but got the kill. Hopefully this guy doesn't die. That'd be really sad if he did. Ooh, well, it should have just been one for one with me killing the AD and blowing heal, which would have been good, but we ended up doing other stuff too. Ooh, mid actually ended up getting a kill. It's really random considering how hard he was losing, but we'll take it, I guess. All right. Ezreal got the kill. I mean, I guess it's, it's fine. Just we shouldn't have had anyone else die. Sucks that uh, Kindred has two kills here, but yeah, what can you really do? So I'm going to look for an opportunity to take a camp from him. He's probably on bot side. He probably took both camps. Want to walk into the jungle and ward while I'm doing this. Really important. Ward and you can take the camp. Normally you want to save your smite for counter jungling when you play Ivern. And then you want to just mark your camps and take those normally. Well, I'm going to go for this. It's really hard for me to solo him, but I'm going to do it anyway.
So here you just want to start off with the slow. And once you get the slow, you kind of just save your Q for when your um, teammate comes in. Don't want to take too much damage here. And I'm going to potentially walk mid because my mid laner could be killed. We have Kindred top. We saw him. There's no ward in the top side river because no one walked here. So really good. We got a couple ganks off. A little bit weird, but... Excellent. Wasn't able to necessarily get um, everything I wanted there, but good enough, I guess. Didn't hit the Q, but I mean, we've been able to pressure the map, which is nice. Wow. That is the, uh, the double bubble in lane. Okay. So, boots of mobility on Ivor in every single game. I'll get this. I'm not going to go into debt right here. I don't really need to. Getting my Crystal Embracer is not really important. We're going to be rushing Redemption, which is usual for Ivor. Okay. I'm going to take this camp. Normally, I would just leave it, but I'm going to take it in this circumstance because I don't want him to um, get his mark. Okay, here we're going to go for the play. Got to be careful of, um, Push the autos. Kind of weird. Um, the way that this guy played it, he didn't uh, keep his stacks on. He should have just kept on walking forward. Make sure he gets his stacks. Whatever. Assuming he he's a, I think he's a Riven one trick that is first timing, Darius. So shit might not go as expected. Level 6 now, so if I was level 6, obviously with Daisy I would have been able to kill him, but there we didn't have it. We can't really contest this dragon, I don't think. Our ball lane is pretty far behind, I would say. They're just getting pushed in the entire game. They didn't actually do that. That's good. I'm gonna grab this, and maybe I'll go top again, we'll see. Potentially also go mid. Somebody needs to take this one. Cut our bracer, and then we will also be going for this. Actually, let's just wait so I don't go into debt. I don't want to have to pay that 50 extra gold. So every time you go into debt with Futures Market, there's a lending fee of 50 gold. So if you can ever avoid it, it's always good to. Well, it's just getting clapped, but I don't think there's much we can do about this. I'm gonna go up here, take his wards, be a good supportive jungler, control vision for my top laner. My rate. He's doing my rates, which just got marked. So I have to just take his. Okay. We're fighting here. Coming. Spawn my thing. Get our ass over here. Ooh, we actually missed that. Give him his uh shield. Mark 
like this. You know, he can just take it. Just kill it. It's more important. It's, it's better to do it like that. I tried to flash E, um, but he actually tumbled out of it. So that was well played by him. We should be taking Dragon right here. With Daisy. I don't have damage though, so I need my teammates to help me. I'm gonna uh, block off their vision and then we're gonna have to take the other way out, potentially. Okay. I'm, I'm saving my smite here for this. Looks like we're gonna get a free kill on Kindred. He went for my blue, died for it. Nice. So I'm gonna be playing around Echo pretty heavily. This is decent for me, I would say. I could back and get Redemption, but I'm not going to yet. It's a little bit greedy on my uh, Flash E into the fight, but ended up working out. If I hit the Q, we would have also been able to kill him. Smite this. Early on. Bot died solo. I'm really worried about bot lane because the thing about Ivern that you always have to consider is you don't do any damage. Like, you're just not a damage champion. You're a CC champion, a support champion. I'm gonna try to help them here. We've got Echo roaming down. Keep on supporting the Echo. And that's a quad for Echo. Really well played by him. I just dropped the redemption, get the heal in there, try to help him as much as I can. Which is what you do with Ivern, man. You just make your carries stronger. You make your assassin mid, your bruiser top just stronger. So here I think that his uh, uh, red might be up. So I'm actually gonna cross straight through. They, we got a quad, so we know that there's no one here. Yeah, and I can just steal this from right under his nose. All right, it's really good. And now I can set up counter jungle here. Land that Q, fade away, baby. Nice. So now we're starting to get like the ideal um, control for an Ivern. Going to mark everything, actually. It's gonna mark everything, recall, and then try to get everything that's still up. Call here okay so I should be I should be uh, using my words better but whatever kind of mess that up for this and we will be going into a little bit of debt for this <laughs> Kindred's is like suiciding for his marks at this point he's really kind of lost it his mental is boom but yeah man I mean Ivern is like the perfect champion if you if you want a champion that just let's say you were like you played old Nunu and your goal was to just piss people off when you play league like you just get enjoyment out of pissing other people off you want to play an annoying champion this is one for you dude I'm about to have a massively I'm gonna have like three levels on him after this I take this camp I take crab this whole side and I can do this really quickly one of the strengths of Ivern is you don't actually need to be there to like farm your camps. Three levels up now.
Okay, got a flash there. Accidentally flash. Whoops. That's pretty bad. I did not mean to flash there, but it shouldn't matter. Just bell sh just shield him for days. You just go in and kill them. Excellent. You know how easy this game has been for Echo? It's been an easy game. He had like a little bit of a rough laning phase, but besides for that, man, this game has been easy as pie for him. I accidentally fat fingered my flash um, when I was trying to drop a bush there. I was trying to hit R as well to redirect my daisy. I was trying to press RW and I just pressed RWF. Wasted my flash for sure. Really bad. But overall, I mean, this is kind of like the ideal Ivern score. 1, 1, and 11. If you check uh, Styly's match history on OP.GG, um, which I'll probably I'll probably link, I'll probably give him a little shout out in this because um, I did copy his build. If you look at his stuff, it is actually just these scores over and over again. 1, 1, 11. 0 to 17 like just a bunch of scores like that you want to make sure that your your deaths are low and your assists are high if your deaths are low and your assists are high then you're doing ivern right normally but yeah in, in terms of like what to counter or what to um not counter why did i say counter um what to uh pick when you have or what what champions you want I to pick ivern with uh normally things like darius uh, things like Riven, um, Echo, Fizz, things that are like Assassins or Bruisers, things that will get close to them um, naturally. It's really good to uh, pick Ivern in those situations. Smite for this, but it should be fine. This is the Rift Herald still there. Somebody has to pick that up eventually, but we're gonna go for the kill first. I'm gonna drop the redemption immediately on him. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run and pick up Rift. Here we're just gonna sacrifice Daisy. Just have her auto. Damn, that sucks. Echo died. Yep, he knows he's dead. One and twelve. Okay, no, actually, this is what you buy. So your your build is pretty much going to be the same every single game. I, uh, every single game, you're going to start with redemption and then go into Athens, and after Athens, it's going to be Ardent Sensor. That is just pretty much the quintessential. Oh, what the fuck was that cue? <laughs> the guy is just stunned and he just can't even hit it. Holy shit! I'm gonna mark all my camps real quick. I don't really want to do ocean that badly right now we gotta like make sure that the echo doesn't throw i think my team can honestly do ocean without me at this point it's pretty greedy for me not to go to ocean like if it was a closer game i probably should be going to ocean every single time but whatever <laughs> he's playing like okay i'm getting memed in my own chat god damn it my own team is memeing me pepe hands all right Yeah, once the game goes on, your clear speed is actually really good. They increased it. They buffed it. That's a couple quick assists right there.
So I'm just gonna try to keep him here for right now. I want to actually win this fight. But yeah, you just want to be annoying, keep them there. That's fine. I think that'll kill me. Like that. Guess not actually. I'll go smite my red and then reset. Buy my ardent. They're arguing over whether or not I am myself right now. Very awkward when you're in such in these situations as a content creator, but yeah. Okay, so we have our Ardent Sensor. Boom. I have another pink ward. Coming. I gotta set some my Herald before I do anything. Get an assist off that. Yeah, normally sitting on a Dark Seal is pretty good for things like that. Flash Q. I don't think he needs to ult there. So we can land a Q and then our whole team can go over. So what you can do here is you can actually block the vision from the back of it if you put brushes behind. So that is what the goal is with these brushes. They just tried to steal it over and over again, and I just, I just didn't, I just didn't fuck up the smite. Wow, look at how fast it goes level 14. Literally just instantly procs. Grab this red myself. Get a mid. Nice. Drop another pink over here. Oh, GG. Well, we won. So yeah, that is uh, the build that people use for uh, Ivern right now. This is what the person that is currently rank one on the US ladder uh, plays with. This is this is uh, like pretty much his entire setup. This is his play style. Everything, um, his item build, this is pretty much what you get. So hopefully you guys were able to learn something from this video. You enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.